there, everybody. Welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. Last time, we made it through to the end of the Golden Coliseum, defeated Iggy the Koopaling, and reclaimed the Yellow Big Painter. This time, though, it's time to go over a few more things before we move on with the story. And... Getting right into it, I should have a certain event on my map because I saved my game in an interesting spot. The Shy Bandit appears! Catch him before he slurps up all the color! Ready? Go! So the Shy Bandit will run along the pathways of the map to the destination and start slurping it. If he gets all the way, he will drain all the color, I believe, from the level. But if you get into a fight, try to block that attack because this fight, you real I sometimes you can beat him, but getting into the fight first, this fight, if you don't manage to block that first attack, your cards are useless, you are blind. You will miss in entirely. Thankfully, he attacks a bit like a normal slurp guy, so he should be relatively easy to take out. Now, I think he can also call in some allies or run away from battle. Oh yeah! Got an excellent with the hop slipper. I had to stop talking for a bit there, and that's good enough. Please game, please give me what I want. Yes? No! Okay, the you really want to run into Shy Bandit if you're going for 100% in the museum because, well, he can drop the Shy Bandit card, which is necessary for completion. But if you manage to get more than one, when you use that card in battle, unlike other enemy cards, the Shy Bandit card is useful for getting more enemy cards. If you use it in battle, you have a greater chance of getting an enemy card, which is amazing! Anyway, they're ducking through Mondo Woods and towards that big yellow coin that was painted just to unlock the next level. As you can probably tell, this isn't a level for next time. So, yeah. But the other thing about about the Shy Bandit is that you can beat him to the location on the map. Make it to that calling card he throws before he gets there. If you do so, you will instantly get 300 coins and he'll just go away. No battle, no chance of getting his enemy card. And lastly, he might run on pathways you don't have yet, but those are pathways that you can unlock later. Even optional ones. Oh man, looks like another giant wall blocking our path. We know this text. cha -ching! The yellow big paint star painted this entire giant coin for us. We're rich, Mario. Rich! Now there's nothing left to do but twirl our moustaches and count our money. <laughs> okay, let's get rich! What? That only counted as one coin? Shenanigans! Shenanigans, I say! <sighs> the mustache twirling will have to wait, I suppose. Yes, yeah, sadly, it's only one coin. But we have what we haven't seen for a long time. A blue mini paintster! Course clear! And if you can guess anything about the primary colors for painting, we have red, we have yellow, and then blue, so you can already guess where the next big paint star is roughly gonna be and where we're going. But that's the level for the next episode. But that's n also not why we've come here this time. Oh! Oh! I thought that was gonna be a shy bandit again! No, guess we have a hollow peach to read up on. Cool. 
But we have some Rochambeau. You know what? I think I will read up on the Hollow Peach though. You know, they are somewhat important. And this one's not that far, it's considering we don't even really have a full level yet. So let's get the little bit of story stuff out of the way until the random numbers. Here you go, Hollow Peach, private message three. My dear Mario, it seems like the airship will be arriving somewhere soon. But all I see when I look around is an endless sea of clouds. We must be incredibly high up in the sky. Wait, what? The ship is going inside something now. But we're so high up. What is this place? It's the cloud sea from Xenoblade Chronicles 2? I don't know. But okay, the plot. Dickens. Anyway though, I really love me some random chances of winning what I want. So let's head into Rochambeau Temple number two. And honestly, I just love how I get to do this boxing announcer voice. That's how I always imagine it at least. Welcome to Rochambeau Temple number two. Let's see what our first two opponents have for us today. Takes pride in his sharp spikes and his hard shell. So he will use rock and scissors by the looks of that, no paper. I'd be shocked if someone shaped like the second round opponent ever used scissors. So no paper, no scissors. I think I have a good winning strategy for those two. Let's head on in. So no paper, which means use rock and then no scissors which means you use paper. Let's go! Enjoy the show! The road to victory is long and full of potholes. Will these warriors' journeys end in glory or soul-crushing humiliation? Trailblazers, you must carve your own path. Glory is forever! This is the art of Rochambeau! And with that, the competitors will take the stage. In this corner, the lucky rookie who rocked the rock paper wizard, Mr. Mamma Mia himself, Mario! And in this corner, he's ruined many a pair of shoes, the spiky scrapper, the underfoot underling, Spiny! Round one, Mario vs. Spiny. Challengers, draw your cards. Okay, now, he's not gonna use paper, which means I choose rock. I either win or it's a tie. Here's your prize for making it through the first round. Your second round opponent, straight off a red eye flight, it's the fire eyed menace with the unbreakable shell, Ba 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 Buzzy Beetle. Round two, Mario vs. Buzzy Beetle. Challengers, draw your cards. Okay, you're not gonna use scissors, huh? I think I'll go with paper. Mario! 
is your prize for making it through the second round. This is when I can lose. Please be nice, game. We're in for a treat today, friends. The Rochambeau Sorcerer himself is about to take the stage. Rock, paper, wizard! Round three, Mario vs. Rock, paper, wizard. Challengers, set your cards. Okay, be nice. In fact, how about I compliment your nice hat with a symbol of my own? No! Rock, paper, wizard! Better luck next time, yada yada yada. This is why I have lots of money. Because now I'm gonna buy my way in. Let's hope this time I don't lose. The tactic still works for the first two opponents though. Money, 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 money! Yes, you max out your coins at 9999. Thought you guys might want to know. But we're back for round two against the Rock Paper Wizard. Let's see how we go. I wonder if he thinks I'll pick the same card twice though. I, I just really like paper guys. What can I say? Mario! I can't believe it! Mario has defeated the rock paper wizard! You are our tournament champion. You'll be going home with a fat bag of coins that are useless and a brand new card. You got Iggy. That's a wrap folks. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. We've done it! Rochambeau Temple number two has been conquered! Almost. If I didn't want to show off who the third round opponent would be, if the rock paper wizard isn't your opponent. Which means I'm going back in. Let's see who that third opponent is. This is it, Mario. You're one battle away from glory. Now let's meet your opponent. You can knock him down, but he'll get right back up again. Say hello to the skinless skulker. Da 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 dry bones. Round three. Let's go. Kind of don't care if I win or lose. It's just a replica card. Hey! I win! Oh, that's actually hilarious! I love how it turns into a pile of bones there. That's fantastic! Winning was worth it. I'm happy I won now. Victory! We will win. Well, I guess we can see what card we got. It's a bottle opener. Yay! Okay then, so now with Rochambeau Temple number two, you guys, well, you might be able to guess what's next. It's time to head back to Port Prisma and find out a little bit more about Piper from the Toads in the old hangout spot. So let's dive right in to the yellow sector. Segment? Area? How do, what do the, the, what do the to toads call it? I real, I'm gonna talk to the yellow toad in here now. I have to know. 
I have to. District. Home of yellow stuff like mustard and uh, custard. We have rhyming stuff here too. Um, okay. What am I doing in here? Right. Hangout spot. These Goombas are still here? Uh, all three chase me. I can only kill one. Sup, Toads? Greeny, it's been so long. Are you here because you heard about Piper's letter? Check out how well the seed we planted is doing. Man, Piper was such a solid dude. He'd always do the stuff that no one else wanted to. Remember the school play? No one wanted to play the role of the down on his luck potted plant, but Piper was all like, I'll do it. And he was absolutely amazing. Everyone totally thought he was a real plant. I still don't know how we got all those butterflies to land on him. I guess method acting really works. Cool. Did we learn a little bit more about Piper? And also money from the tree. Don't hit real trees with hammers. You might not get money from them. Next up on the agenda though. I think it's time to show off a little bit more of the museum. Don't worry, I'm not gonna just show off all the new things I'm gonna add in. I'll add everything in and then showcase some of it off. So now that I've put everything in the museum, how about we take a look at what we have. First of all, to the art gallery, which I have neglected for quite a while, and I will neglect for much more of the game, but for now. Let's see what we've got. And I can select the individual pieces from the gamepad. At most, we only have one page, but that is eight different designs. Here we have the art style concept. Then we have Red World. And I've got to say, it's very interesting how some of these things are put together. And, oh, there's a, there's a human thumb in that one. Indigo Underground. Good music. But, oh, you actually get to see how the water was developed too in that one. Initial Mario designs. Kind of... It's my favourite form of concept art. It looks finished. And I gotta say, you can actually see part of this in the final product. I love how those streaks come out when you jump or hammer. Blue Bay Beach. More so the tidal wave, the palm tree, and the... pub place. The... the... Cafe of sorts. Anyway, moving on. Mountainous region. Looks like they were gonna hide a pipe underneath the logs, but they certainly wanted some form of unfurling. Port Prisma hasn't really changed too much. Oh, I guess there's a lot of different ways that they wanted Huey to appear. And last but certainly not least, the opening images. That dark and stormy night. And look at all the detail from those trees. That's not just in your opening image. You see that all throughout the game. Those trees. So much paper. It's almost as if I could make it in real life. Which is pretty darn cool if I could make trees out of paper. Now as we collect more cards, we will fill this in. However, we won't see most of it until we've finished the museum. Because the game works like that for some reason, I guess. Moving on to the sound test. I don't think I've ever shown you guys this, so I may as well. Every time you collect all of the paintless spots, every time you completely paint in a level, you will receive the soundtrack for said level. Not that we had to color in much for the museum. We unlocked this song for when we finished the whole thing in the... Yeah! Anyway, the special ones though, you'll usually find underneath where you get the big paint studs for each of them. So, if I look under the Golden Coliseum, that's where we can listen to the dance song that played in celebration of the yellow big paint star. 
And then there's Super Smash Royal. But who cares about that one? It's the Iggy battle that's good. Of course, when you close the menu though, the music stops. Why? So that's the sound test. We'll be sure to pop in every... At the end. We'll pop in at the end. Because there's something special at the end. Now, we are going... Actually, I can just talk to you to see all of them at once. Halfway with the basic cards already, and we're not even halfway through the game. Enemy cards, though. Oh boy, there's a lot to do. Thing cards... We're, we're getting there. That's sort of the easiest one to fill in. And then artwork again. That's only once you finish it all. Records is the sound test. No, I don't want to speak to you before. Now, we've been working our way through the enemy cards there. I would say the most important. They have the most, and you have to go out of your way to actually get them. But the thing cards are the most fun. Because, well, you get to see what some of them do. Now, I'm going to show off a couple more things. The bottle opener is a bit boring, to be honest, but we'll see that much later. Maybe not in the battle, but it looks about the same. However, one of the ones we won't see forcefully is the piggy bank. And what better way to break coins out of this bad boy? Well, you break it, of course. Let's test it out! Paint it, or bring it up, paint it, and let's show these Goombas how you break a piggy bank. Or ha shall I say, how a piggy break breaks down on the dance floor. And if you time your button press, your single button press, right to when it explodes, which happens in time with the music, you get an excellent! And typically you would also get those coins. Now, the ice pick, we're not going to see for a long time. We will see it though. It's not optional. Much like the bottle opener. It kind of just, you can guess, honestly. It just stabs people. And I... I think that's all the things. Yes, nothing on the other two pages. Just wanted to show off the piggy bank. Because it's... The things in this game are great. But with that, guys... Next time... We head on down... Towards the next big paint star, likely to be the blue one. Taking this new pathway we opened up. To the dark blue inn. This has been Spiraling Helix. I'll see you guys next time, everybody. Bye bye.